crisis. And there are always crises in the world. Especially now, it seems to me, is a crisis in consciousness. A crisis that cannot anymore accept the old norms, the old patterns, the ancient traditions, a particular way of life, whether it's the American way or the European way or the Asiatic way. Considering what the world is now, with all the misery, conflict, destructive brutality, aggression, tremendous advancement in technology, and so on, it seems to me, though man has cultivated the external world, and has more or less mastered it. Inwardly, he's still as he was. A great deal of animal in him is still brutal, violent, aggressive, acquisitive, competitive, and he has built a society along these lines. What do you think is happening to the whole American people as a whole? With the automation, with electronic brains, with, you know what I mean, the whole setup. What is happening and where are they going? You understand? I think an increasing number of them are beginning to ask themselves the question uh, as to whether or not there may be alternative forms of human behavior. Uh -huh. Because they and have. what do they do? Because by then, after, after asking questions and all the rest of it, they're almost finished. They're ready for the grave. You say they are um, California or America or even California. There's something new study or the same old pattern being repeated? It seems to me to be the same old pattern. Oh. Say in California, you live in California. Is there a... Is the climate being so marvelous here? Is it productive of some new... new state of human being? New... new... human, human, human? What we are concerned with is the understanding of the whole process of life with all its complexity, with its aggressions and miseries, with its sorrows and confusions and agonies. And to understand this vast field of life, which is a constant movement, one must not only hear the words, but also go beyond the words. Because the words, the explanations, are not the facts. But most of us are caught in words. And one must be free of the word, the symbol, the idea, the conclusion. Then one can look. Then one can listen, listen, listen.